This is Zoe's podcast show. We talk about the UFC. So make sure to grab a drink, tie your laces, fix your face, catch a breeze, and get ready because it's about to go down. Let's go. Oh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Zoe's podcast show. I am your host, Zoe, and I'm going to let you know what's going down, man. We got a fight night this weekend, man. UFC in Milwaukee. We're going to talk about it. Man, is going down. Al Iaquinta versus Kevin Lee 2. This is the rematch. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, also got a couple things that I want to talk about. Some news things that, that, that happened as well. But first, let's talk about the fight night that's about to happen this Saturday on Fox. On Big Fox. Um, it's the last event for UFC uh, on Fox Network. Um, the next one is going to be on ESPN, so make sure to check it out next year on ESPN, ESPN 1 or 2. I don't know if it's going to be on on 2 at all. And ESPN Plus, so make sure to subscribe to that as well. I got to cancel my uh, fight pass to get to the ESPN Plus. I can't have both. I'm not that rich. I'm not rich at all. Let's just let's, let's put that out there. I'm trying to get there. Not there yet. But yeah, let's talk about the, the main event. The main card, actually. Well, you know what? This is a couple fights on the prelims that I want to uh, address before we get into the main card. Um, first of all, Bobby Green on this card, man. He's always a good fight on any card. You know what I'm saying? So, off the back, I'm checking out the Bobby Green card. The action-packed, you know, strikes coming at you all the time. He comes forward all the time. Bobby Green, I'm checking out your fight on the prelims. Definitely checking out your fight. I mean, I'm gonna watch the whole prelims, of course, but I'm very, I'm gonna be very, uh, I'm gonna be paying close attention to Bobby Green's fight because he brings the action. Um, and also on that fight card, um, Jesse Jess, um, Jessica Rose Clark versus Angela, is it Angela or Andrea? KGB Lee. I always get that mixed up. I don't even know why. But Andrea KGB Lee is going against Jesse Jess. And um, I'm definitely going to be watching that fight as well. Um, we know what happened with Andrea Lee the last time we spoke. To, the last time we heard of her, uh, other than with the fight and everything like that, it's, um, it's about, it got pretty rough in her household, you know, with, with the whole thing with her husband with the uh, swastika, the Nazi tattoo on his arm, and everybody got at him with that. She defending him, and then like a month later, uh, they have a domestic abuse situation with that. Uh, the, her husband hit her. I don't know what the, the specifics with that is, but um, frankly, is it wasn't good going down over there. So shame on that dude for even putting his hands on that girl, man. You know, any guy who puts a hand on a girl in that manner and stuff like that, man, shame on them. Um, that should be dealt with accordingly. But that's what happened with her. Um, who knows what you know mindset she's in. She's going through a lot of things that's uh, that's in her you know her personal life and everything. And now she's about to fight. She's about to fight Jesse Jess, who's uh, very underrated in in the UFC right now. So I'm not picking the fight, but I'm definitely gonna watch that closely. See how KGB is doing. See how Jesse Jess fights. And we'll see when they rank up where they're going to be at. All right. Now, let's get into the main card. The first fight that we have on the card is Jim Miller versus Charles Oliveira. Man. Now, this is the, this is the rematch. Um, Charles Oliveira actually lost to Jim Miller a few years back. Um, and, you know, he's been, you know, up and down in the ranks. Um, been changing a couple weight classes uh just he just went down actually to 145 he didn't do so good he was missing weight came back up and i think he's on a, a couple uh a win streak right now um a couple fights whatever um and jim Oliveira, man he's vet all the way you know what i'm saying um the last fight he had was at ufc 228 which i was a part of and i saw live jim miller Getting that knockout. Or was it a submission? I don't even remember. It was it was, it was September. Come on. Um, but he, I know he won in the first round. So, shout out to Jim Miller for that. He's going against 
of Charles Oliveira this time again. And quite frankly, I'm not sure. I mean, <sighs> Jim Miller's the dude. You know what I'm saying? He's the vet. But Charles Oliveira has been, has been in it for a while as well. So I think he's going to get this loss back. I think he'll get his, uh, his revenge, as they say. And I think Charles Oliveira will get the W this time. They both strikers. They both, you know, they, they, nothing really changed with their styles over the years. Um, you know, Jim Miller came back from all the stuff he can't went through, but he he won his last fight. So let's see if he comes back stronger than what he did. He was on the prelims, the, the early prelims, fight past prelims last time um, that he fought, but now he's on the main card. So. It's kind of a bump up. I mean, it was on pay-per-view, but, you know, it's kind of a bump up from right now on the main card. So, um, hate to pick against Jim Miller, of course, because he's coming, he's on his way back. But I think uh, Charles Oliveira is going to get that W. He's going to get that revenge fight and get that fight back. So, Charles Oliveira, I'm picking him. Um, the next fight that we have on the fight card is Rob Font versus my boy Sergio Pettis the Pettis brothers I, I never pick against the Pettis brothers I'm gonna let you know now I'm never gonna pick against the Pettis brothers so with that said I'm picking Sergio yeah he's moving up he's going to 135 yeah you know he's he's fighting this dude Rob Font who's like real good but I'm never gonna pick against the Pettis brothers. Anthony Showtime Pettis, his big brother, always pick him, and I'm always going to pick Sergio Pettis. He's just a smaller, I mean, just a smaller version, not even a smaller version, like, in like, you know, he's skinny or anything like that. He's like literally the small version of Anthony Pettis. Maybe even a little better, you never know. I mean, he's, he was getting up there in the, um, in, in the, the other weight class, so <clears throat> let's see what he goes in this weight class to see if he uh, has the same magic and gets even better in that weight class. Um, so Sergio Pettis, he's getting the W. G guarantee. Guaranteed. He's in his home state, too. He's in his, in his backyard. He's in Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? He can't hold him down. You know his big brother's going to be there. He only travel a couple minutes away. You know, I don't know what's coming. <laughs> I don't even know. But, yes, he will get the W. Sergio will, the, get, will get the W. Anthony's in the building. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, okay? It's going to happen. Um, The next fight is actually the co-main event, man. This is a short fight card uh, for, you know, the, the last fight card or whatever. No, it's a short fight. It's a fight night card, I guess, right? Um, Co-main event, Edson Barbosa versus Dan Hooker. Man, this is going to be a good fight, man. Both these guys are really good, man, because of the simple reason that... Dan Hooker is on a tear right now. He's doing good. He's r rising up the ranks right now. I mean, he's he's getting up there. And with Edson Barbosa, he's on a two fight losing streak. Both his fights with uh, Habib Nurmagomedov and with uh, Kevin Lee, the the main event that he's going to be fighting as well. So he has to get back on a winning streak if he's going to stay up there and be that dominant first force that he usually is. So with this one, I'm going to pick um, Edson Barbosa for this one because I think he can't go on a three-loss, three, week, three loss, uh, a losing streak. He can't go on a losing streak right now because he has to stay at the top. And Dan Hooker is gunning, gunning for that top spot. And we'll see what happens, but I'm going to pick Edson Barbosa, even though I think it might be the, the wrong decision uh, technically, but, you know, Dan Hooker, he's not a wrestler. And the only, the only per people that um, Edson Barbosa has problems with is actually wrestlers. So I'm picking Edson Barbosa for the win, getting back in a W spot, and we'll go on from there. Man, now, here is the main event of the evening. Kevin Lee versus Al Iaquinta, Raging Al. I mean... <sighs> The second fight, the first fight was phenomenal. The first fight was awesome, right? This fight, I think we're gonna have a better Kevin Lee all around. Um, you know, he was a young pup. Both of them were young pups at the at the time, um, but 
Kevin Lee was younger. I mean, still younger. I mean, you know, the time. Um, but uh, Kevin Lee has actually grown these past couple years um, as a fighter and as a person. Um, he, he like he found his niche. He found his place, and I think uh, Kevin Lee's gonna take it this time. Um, he's gonna get back his W. This is gonna be the revenge card, okay? Uh, <laughs> with uh, uh, Charles Oliveira, he's gonna get his revenge, and Kevin Lee, he's gonna get his revenge. I hate that I'm picking against Raging Al, but man, I gotta go with Kevin Lee on this one, man. Um, you know, I, I think it's because of you know he has you know just upgraded himself so much and uh we haven't seen that much of ally quinta you know ally quinta is basically the the same dude uh excuse me <laughs> ally quinta is basically the same dude um for a while now he does what he does you know he does it well too you know what i'm saying it's not a, like he's not a good fighter at all he's a great fighter but um he just went through five rounds with the champ, uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, but I just don't see him winning this fight. I'm getting this fight. I, um, I was going to pick uh, a decision, but I'm going to pick a TKO in the second round. That's what I'm saying. TKO second round for that. And all the other fights I didn't pick the when I was gonna end right. Um, Charles Oliveira, I, I think Charles Oliveira is gonna win by knockout in the first round. Um, who else is on there? Sergio Pettis, he's gonna win by decision, unanimous decision. Um, Edson Barbosa is gonna win the first round, knockout first round. Actually, no, 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 no. Edson Barbosa is gonna win split decision, split decision. I'm gonna go with that one. And Kevin Lee is gonna win. TKO second round and that's what I'm going to go with um, and those are my picks for UFC in Milwaukee um, and just let me know what y'all think about those picks um, <clears throat> Yeah, comment down below and let me know what y'all guys think about the picks and hit me up on Twitter at Zoe Yours Truly hit me up there and let me know what y'all think about the picks alright so a couple things in that's been happening this past week um, first of all, UFC 233 has been postponed. What can you say? Um, I don't even know if they still want to have a UFC 233. Um, but it's been postponed. Um, one of the fights, uh, well, they're like getting all the fights rescheduled for some places. Um, one of the fights that they have, uh, that was on there that's got rescheduled is the, um, the uh, the Lawler versus Askren fight that's gonna happen in March, so make sure to check that out at UFC 235. So make sure to check that out then. Um, so they're still gonna fight, but it's rescheduled for March and UFC 235. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Jose Aldo got a fight now. He's he's actually fighting the number four guy in the featherweight division. Um, Renato um, Marciano it's fighting uh, Renato man he, he was the backup fight for the fight this past weekend with uh, with Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega and he just got the fight with uh, with Jose Aldo so we're gonna see if Jose Aldo is actually back um, he did uh, get that W from Jeremy Stevens a, a little bit back and we're going to see what uh, Jose Aldo has got in store. We're going to see about this um, Marciano dude as well. See if he's a real deal. Um, see, he barely lost, not barely lost, he lost by submission, but against Brian Ortega. But that's probably the, one of the only guys that, you know, Max Holloway hasn't fought. So if he, if he does win against Jose Aldo, Max Holloway could fight him if he doesn't move up in the ranks to... Um, to lightweight, um, <clears throat> Kamaru Uzman actually posted up something on uh, on social media. Uh, him signing a contract, and what is that? I don't even know what the hell that is. It's like a, a plane or something. Oh, whatever. Um, him signing a contract of uh, to fight 
the champ, Tyrone Woodley. Tyrone Woodley did not uh, sign the contract, but Tyrone Woodley says he's hurt. His hand is injured. He can't take a fight right now. You know this whole beef with uh, Tyron Woodley and Dana White goes back and forth all the time, every time. Um, and this is no different than what's been happening um, with them. And, but Kamaru Usman is, is down to fight. We don't know what's going on with your favorite fighter. Um, you know, the other guy was supposed to fight um, Tyron Woodley. We don't know what's going on with him. Um, but Kamaru Usman is ready to fight. And he might be a backup for the, the fight again as well. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Um also, we got a fight for uh, UFC on ESPN1. It is uh, in February. UFC in Phoenix. It's um, um, Rivera versus Sterling, the Funk Master. Shout out to the Funk Master on there. Um, his boy, Ally Quinta, is fighting uh, this Saturday. Um, but, you know... My boy is is, is Al Jermaine, man, and you know he, he, the backpack, the backpack kid. You know what I mean? So, uh, shout outs to him and uh, getting that fight on ESPN. That's the first fight. Um, I don't know if it's the first fight uh, ESPN, um, but it is the. Um, it's gonna be on ESPN one. So make sure to check that out. Um, in February. That's all I got for today, man. Y'all hit me up with a couple questions. I do have another question um, that I wanna. Uh, read to you real quick, okay? All right, the first question that we, well, the only question we got because I'm not big yet. I'm, this is, you know, this, this is the beginnings. Hopefully, it's, it'll get better. But the question that I got from my girl, Ashley, the MMA nerd, matter of fact, check out her podcast, MMA Nerd Podcast. It's on, um, it's on, uh, uh, of course, Apple Podcasts. Um, it's on Stitcher. It's on uh, um, SoundCloud. It's on, all those places. So make sure to check her podcast out. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite podcasts out there right now. Um, but she asks, do you think Kevin Lee will make weight for this fight? <sighs> Man, I, I, I hope so. Because the past couple fights, he's been battling with the weight cut. Um, you know, like you said before, he's, he's a great candidate for the 165 division. Um, but he's been battling with the weight cut for a few fights now, um, almost not making the the, the cut um, for the Barbosa fight, and uh, the fight before that with uh, Tony Ferguson, he had the staff infection, so he kind of you know gone with that fluctuation of weight or whatever the case may be with the staff infection. But um, for this fight, man, I, I honestly think he's going to make the weight. I think he's uh, done. His research, um, he I've seen on the UFC tonight um, that he, he was talking with um, with uh, K Flow and um, DC, and he talked about uh, having uh, DC's uh, nutritionist uh, for this fight. So DC said if he can get him down to 205, that he can definitely get Kevin Lee down to 155. So. I believe he's going to make the weight. I don't think it's going to it should be a problem. Hopefully he does. And, you know, if he doesn't, then, you know, like I said, he's the best, one of the best candidates to have a 165 division. And we'll see what happens with that. But I'm pretty sure he'll make the weight. I, I'm, I'm confident he'll make the weight, especially if he wants to rise in the ranks and, uh, you know, go for that, that next, uh, you know, that next fight in a division, whether it's, um, Tony Ferguson again, or, or whoever made the case may be, um, anybody, um, or even, you know, Max Holloway coming in as well. He can fight him as well, but I mean, I don't see that happening, but he can put his name up there if he just makes a weight and wins. Um, but I, I hope, hopefully he doesn't have no problem with the, the weight this time. Hopefully he's learned from him, his mistakes or all the things that he has. Um, with the, uh, the the weight cut from the last um, <clears throat> the last fight, he said it was a timing issue. Hopefully he got that issue intact and, uh, you know, ready to uh, fight this weekend. But that's all I got, man. That's I only have one question, man. Y'all hit me up with some questions. I would love to answer some questions. I would love to, uh, you know, mix 
mix it up with you guys uh, anytime. So make sure to check me out on Twitter. Like I said, it was uh, Zo Yours Truly. I'm going to put it down here for y'all. And um, hit me up on Instagram as well at Zoe's Podcast One. And make sure that if you got any questions as well, you want to hit me up on the email. Make sure to email me at Zowill at Gmail. Zowill NY, excuse me, at gmail.com. I'll, I'll put it all down here for y'all. That's all I got. Y'all take it easy. Make sure to check out my YouTube. If you're not on YouTube already, if you're listening to this podcast and you're on Anchor or uh, Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or Google Play or Spotify, however you guys are listening, make sure to check out my YouTube if you're not there as well. If you're on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and everything like that as well. I'm out. Y'all take it easy. And like I always say, if you got problems, don't pray for yourself. Pray for the problem. That means you got to pray for the bear. I'm out. Peace.